Hello students, welcome back to our class. Let us continue with the problems given in previous board examinations from the concept called so surface areas and volumes. So, let us have a look on this problem. Here the problem is a juice seller was serving his customers using glasses as shown in the figure. The inner diameter of the cylindrical glass was 5 centimeter. See here the inner diameter. Once you observe this is what the inner diameter of the glass. Okay? So, that was the inner diameter of the glass. And what was given here, since it is the inner diameter of the glass, of the cylindrical glass was 5 centimeters. Inner diameter equal to 5 centimeters. So, this inner diameter is 5 centimeters. But, bottom of the glass had a hemispherical raised portion. See, this is what the hemispherical raised portion. This is what is the hemispherical raised portion. See, if you see some, you know, juice shops and cafes, you can, uh, you uh, probably find this kind of glasses. You know, uh, when you look at them, the seems to be very much bigger. We feel that, uh, you know, large amount of um, juice or whatever the cafe um, that you are, go you are going to get, but uh, it will not happen probably. Because when you see inside the glass, inside the glass, so, then this kind of hemisphere raises. So, you can definitely observe in the glasses. So, that is one of the fantastic example. See here, 5 centimeters, but bottom of the glass, bottom of the glass had a hemispherical raised portion, which reduces the capacity of the glass. Of course, you can understand that. So, if the height of the glass was 10 centimeters, height of the glass is nothing but from here to here, it is 10 centimeters then what are you going to find? Find the apparent and actual capacity of the glass. Apparent capacity of the glass is nothing but generally how do you feel that the quantity of uh, you know whatever the juice that you are getting that you are going to expect but what actually that you are going to get that is what called actual capacity of the glass. So, in order to find this apparent uh, capacity of the glass as well as actual capacity of the glass First, apparent capacity of the glass is nothing but of course, the volume of the cylindrical glass. So, how do you find volume of the cylindrical glass? Volume of the cylinder. In order to find volume of the cylinder, you can find by using pi r square h. Let us try to understand by writing the values. So, here um, you know you can understand by taking the values, the information given in the problem. Here the information given is given that given that first i would write diameter of the cylindrical glass given that diameter of the cylindrical glass so diameter of the cylindrical glass equal to d which is going to be 5 centimeters if the diameter equal to 5 centimeters radius is going to be 5 divided by 2 centimeters so that is the radius of the cylindrical glass and the height is being 10 centimeters and height of the cylindrical glass is equal to h is equal to 10 centimeters. So, height is equal to 10 centimeters. With the help of this radius as well as height, I can find the apparent capacity. So, therefore, apparent capacity capacity of the glass of the glass means which glass of the cylindrical glass of the cylindrical glass is going to be volume of the cylinder which is pi r square h right but keep one thing in mind that when you use the value of pi pi should be used as 3.14 we should not use pi is equal to 22 by 7 because the value of pi is mentioned in the problem so that i am writing pi is equal to 22 by 7 sorry pi is equal to what is that value so pi is equal to 3.14 so pi is how much is the value of pi so pi is going to be 3.14 okay the value of pi is equal to 3.14 multiplied by radius is equal to 5 by 2 so that it would be 5 by 2 multiplied by 5 by 2 times height height of the cylinder is equal to 10 hope you understand this 
Okay, fine. How am I going to simplify this? Two ones, two ones are two, and then ten, two fives are ten, two sevens are fourteen. So this is one point five seven. One point five seven multiplied by ten is equal to fifteen point seven into five fives are twenty five. So the value of fifteen point seven multiplied by twenty five is going to be. I am going to use the calculator now. So that is fifteen point seven multiplied by twenty five is going to be three ninety two point five. So three hundred and ninety two point five centimeter cube is the apparent volume or apparent capacity of the juice glass. But what I want here. i need to find the actual capacity of the glass so in order to find the actual capacity of the glass i would understand one thing that this place is just occupied inside the glass so in order to find the actual capacity of the glass i should remove the volume of the cylindrical uh, what is this portion hemispherical portion from the volume of the entire glass so volume of the entire glass is nothing but apparent volume of the glass just now i found that so in order to find the actual capacity of the glass so therefore actual capacity actual capacity of the glass is going to be actual capacity of the glass is going to be what is that volume of entire cylinder Minus volume of hemisphere, volume of hemisphere. I am not going to find both of them again because I already found the volume of the cylinder. Now I will find what is the volume of hemisphere. So in order to find volume of hemisphere, so volume of hemisphere is going to be. What is the formula for that? Volume of hemisphere is equal to two third pi r. Q, right? That is volume of hemisphere. So, which is equal to two third means two by three multiplied by pi. Pi is anyway three point one four multiplied by radius. Just now we found the radius five by two. So that five by two whole cube. Five by two whole cube. I think there is no much cancellation here. I would write this as two divided by three multiplied by three point one four. Multiplied by five cube is equal to one twenty five divided by two cube is equal to eight. So I can cancel this two one sir two four sir eight, and then I can cancel this four as two two sir four and two one point five sevens. Okay, and one point five seven cannot be cancelled by two, and one point five seven cannot be cancelled by three. Therefore, the volume of this hemisphere. In order to find the volume of hemisphere, I am going to use the calculator. That is one point five seven multiplied by one twenty five, which is equal to one ninety six point two five divided by three two sir six. So divided by six is going to be thirty two point seven zero eight. So thirty two point seven zero eight means I am taking thirty two point seven. So which is equal to thirty two point seven is the volume of the hemisphere. It means. it is just occupying inside the glass okay so this is volume of hemisphere therefore you want the actual volume or actual capacity actual capacity of the juice glass is going to be volume of the cylinder minus volume of hemisphere so volume of cylinder is equal to 392.5 minus 32.7 Three nine two point five minus thirty two point seven. So when you simplify this, when you subtract, then you will get minus three ninety two point five three nine two point five. Then what do you get? Three fifty nine point seven nine. So which is equal to three fifty nine point seven nine approximately. This is centimeter cube. Is the actual volume of the glass. So hope you understand how to answer this problem. Of course, this is uh, actually one of the value-based question that we already, uh, you know, 
you, you got this problem in 2009 as well as 2019 also. So, really interesting. Hope you enjoyed this problem. Moving on to the next problem. Here the next problem is a girl empties a cylindrical bucket full of sand of base radius 18 centimeters and height 32 centimeters on the floor to form a conical heap of sand. If the height of the conical heap is 24 centimeters, then find its land height correct to one place of decimal. Correct to one place of decimal in the sense what has happened exactly here. If you once observe a cylindrical bucket is emptied is nothing but there are two shapes. One shape is a cylinder is transformed into a cone. So, that is what you need to understand. So, here there is a cylinder with full of sand and emptied on the ground and form into a cone. So, this is a conical heap that is what you need to understand. So, in this particular case, what are the dimensions of the cylinder? So, the dimensions of the cylinder as base radius is equal to 18 centimeters. I am using R1 is equal to 18 centimeters as well as the height is being 32 centimeters. So, that H1 is equal to 32 centimeters. And for the cone, if the height of this conical heap is 24 centimeters, so height is equal to 24 centimeters, then what is the base radius? First of all, you will have to find the base radius as well as land height is also equal to how much? So, according to the given information and according to the given problem, we need to understand one thing that both the volumes are same. So, volume of cylinder is exactly same as volume of cone. That is what I am going to use the information. According to the given problem, volume of cylinder is equal to volume of cone. Volume of cylinder is equal to volume of cone. What is the formula for volume of cylinder? Of course, pi r square h because r and h are different from the cone. That is why I am using small r1, r h1 and r2, h2 for both of them. So, that pi r1 square h1 is equal to one third pi r2 square h2. Correct? Because volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h and volume of cone is equal to one third pi r square h. Now, directly we can cancel some things here. Pi and pi gets cancelled. And then when you substitute now, R1 is equal to 18. So, that R1 square means 18 multiplied by 18 into H1. H1 is equal to 32, which is equal to 1 by 3 times R2 square. I do not know what is R2. So, that R2 square into H2. H2 is going to be 24. Now, see the cancellation. The cancellation is going to be 3 ones, 3, 3 how much are 24, 3 8s are 24 and here 8 ones are 8, 8 fours are 32. Got it? And now see here 18 into 18 into 4, please do not multiply them because 18 into 18 is 18 square and 4 can be written as 2 square which is equal to R2 square. Correct? So, 18 square into 2 square is equal to 18 into 2 is equal to 30. 6 square is equal to R2 square. Therefore, the value of R2 is equal to 36 centimeters. What do you mean by this? It means the radius of the conical heap is going to be 36 centimeters. Got it? After finding the radius of the conical heap, what are you going to find? Find out the slant height up to one place of decimal. And what is the formula for the slant height of the cone when radius, base radius as well as the height are given? So, therefore, slant height of the cone is going to be, so the slant height, slant height of cone, slant height of cone is going to be L square is equal to H square plus R square. Okay? Substitute the values. H, H is equal to 24. So, that 24 square plus R square is equal to 36 square. So, we know 24 square is equal to 576 plus 36 square you need to find and moreover you need to find the square root also. So, in order to find the square root, so what am I going to do here? 
36 multiplied by itself 1296. So, 1296, when you add both of them, 1296 plus 576 is going to be 1872. 1872 is the value of L square. Then L is going to be root over 1872. So, when I find the square root of 1872, I get 43.26. 43.26. 26, but what was given here correct to one place of decimal so 30 43.26 can be written as 43.3 because you will have to round it up because that is 43.26 so when you round it up then you get 43.3 and since you are finding the volume therefore and it is slant height 43.3 centimeters is the slant height of the conical hip so this way we can answer this problem easily but you be very careful while finding the squares as well as cubes and the calculation part is very much important and always go for the calculation only towards the end of the problem not every single step so when you are calculating everything towards the end of the problem i think you will uh, you can save your time right fine let's move on to the next problem so what is the next problem here water is flowing at the rate of 5 kilometers per hour through a pipe of diameter 14 centimeters into a tank with rectangular base tank with rectangular base which is 50 meters long and 44 meters wide find the time in which the level of the water tank raised by 7 centimeters so this problem is quite similar to the previous problem that we already discussed so here the problem is when you understand water is flowing at the rate of 5 kilometers per hour through a pipe through a pipe is nothing but this is the cylindrical pipe okay through a pipe this is the cylindrical pipe into a rectangular tank a rectangular tank is nothing but you can consider that is a cuboid okay so i'm just uh, showing or drawing only the one view okay this is one view and when the water is flowing so the tank will be filled for example till here till here this is what is the raise in level of the water in the tank what is the raise in level of the water in the tank raised by 7 centimeters so this height is equal to 7 centimeters it means you can consider for this particular cuboid that is the height and uh, what are the dimensions of the cuboid are given 50 meters long so length of the cuboid is given as 50 meters and 44 meters width so wide of the width of the given uh, cylindrical tank or breadth of the given cylindrical tank is equal to 44 meters okay 44 meters find the time in which the level of the water so you need to find what is the time taken so in order to find the time taken what are the dimensions of the cylindrical pipe so diameter of the pipe is given as 14 centimeters since this is the diameter the diameter is given as 14 centimeters then what is the radius 14 by 2 is equal to 7 centimeters but everything are in meters so that i am going to write this 7 centimeters as 7 by 100 meters that is radius and water is flowing through the pipe at the speed what is the speed here speed is going to be 5 kilometers per hour 5 kilometers per hour and what is the time taken here time taken is equal to t hours so according to the given problem volume of the water flowing through the pipe should be same as the volume of this rectangular tank up to the height of 7 centimeters okay so i am trying to utilize this information so in order to find the solution what am i supposed to do here first of all what is the length of the pipe length of the pipe is nothing but what is the distance traveled by the water through the pipe during this particular period of time so distance traveled by the water distance traveled by the water is equal to speed multiplied by time so speed is equal to 5 kilometers per hour 5 kilometers per hour multiplied by time is equal to t hours so hour and hour gets cancelled 5 kilometers equal to 5000 meters so i would write it as 5000 t 
meters. Okay, this is what the distance traveled by the water is nothing but height of the cylindrical pipe. So I can take it as height of the cylindrical pipe. Okay, fine. After finding the height of the cylindrical pipe, and we had already what is the radius of the cylindrical pipe also with the help of this information. According to the given problem, volume of cylindrical pipe, volume of cylindrical pipe is equal to volume of rectangular tank up to the height seven centimeters. See here, it is again seven centimeters. I am using cylindrical height. Um, what is this uh, rectangular tank height is going to be seven centimeters. Is going to be seven divided by hundred meters. Can I write? Because it is already centimeters, right? Everything converted in the same units. I am going to substitute the values now. What is the formula for volume of the pipe? Volume of the pipe is nothing but volume of cylindrical pipe is volume of cylinder. So volume of cylinder is equal to pi. R square h is equal to volume of rectangular tank is nothing but volume of a cuboid. So that is going to be L one into B one into H one. Okay. So pi, the value of pi is obviously given twenty two by seven, and radius of the cylindrical pi is seven by hundred. So that it would be seven by hundred multiplied by seven by hundred. Into height of the cylindrical pipe is nothing but five thousand in t. So five thousand multiplied by t is equal to coming here L one is equal to fifty meters. So it is fifty and B one B one is equal to forty four and H one is going to be seven divided by hundred. Now be very careful in calculation and cancellation also. Here this hundred and hundred can can be cancelled. And two zeros, two zeros can be cancelled, and here fifty, fifty can be cancelled, and one seven and one seven can be cancelled. Twenty two ones and twenty two twos are forty four, and one more seven and one more seven can be cancelled. So I think everything can be cancelled. Everything are cancelled except the number over here t, and except the number t. So that t is equal to two hours. See how easily we got the answer. So time taken is equal to two hours to fill the tank up to the height of seven centimeters. So this way we can answer the problem easily. Moving on to the next problem. So what is the next problem given here? A field is in the form of a rectangle of length twenty meters. For example, this is the field in the shape of a rectangle. In the shape of a rectangle, I'm just uh, looking at the top view. Okay, rectangle of length twenty meters and width is equal to forty meters. So length is equal to twenty meters, and width is equal to suppose I am writing here width is equal to twenty meters, width is equal to fourteen meters, and what are given a ten meters deep well of diameter seven centimeters is dug in one corner of the field. Suppose this is the position of the well. So the well was dug in that particular place. So here, what are the dimensions of the well? A well ten meters deep, ten meters deep well of diameter seven meters. Now you need to understand what is the shape of the well. Shape of the well is going to be a cylinder. So for this well, for this well, what are the dimensions given? Ten meters deep. So depth of the well, I am taking it as some h two. H two is equal to depth of the well is ten meters, and then ten meters diameter is equal to seven meters. Since diameter equal to seven meters, radius is going to be seven by two meters. Seven by two meters well was dug in one of the corners, and what are you asked here? And uh, see. Earth taken out the well is spread evenly over the remaining part of the field. Remaining part of the field. So find the raise in level of the field. Raise in level of the field means you need to understand here one thing. See, we know what is the length of the well as well as what is the breadth of the well. Length as length as sorry not well. This is the rectangular field. Length of the rectangular field and width of the rectangular field are given. But 
after taking whatever the material from the inside of the well that was spread evenly around all the areas of this rectangular field. So, what is the rising level of the rectangular field that is what is the problem. See how do you answer this problem. So, in order to answer this see anyway whatever the material that has taken out it means that is the volume that is the volume of the well. So, the volume of the well volume of the well that material has spread evenly all around it on the outside. So, that this remaining volume is there what is the remaining volume here whatever the volume of the field for example, till here whatever the rays up to some h meters whatever it is h meters or h centimeters uh, the raising level of this field. But raising level of the field in the sense when you are spreading all over you are not going to spread over here. So, when you are not spreading over here what does this mean you are going to remove the volume remove the volume of the well from the volume of this rectangular field. Okay. So, here volume of the material that has taken out volume of the material that has taken out is equal to volume of this entire place volume of the entire place that is what I am going to write here according to the given problem according to the given problem here you are not you are not placing over here. Okay. So, when you are not placing over here, but you are placing all over this area. When you are placing all over this area, then you are removing some area of this place. I do not know how much place that you are removing, but you are removing some area over here. So, that some area would be area of the well. Correct. So, according to the given problem, this material only, what is that material? Area or volume. I would say volume, volume of well is equal to because you are spreading all over here, volume of well is equal to volume of rectangular field, volume of rectangular field minus volume of whatever this area that is occupying. Okay. So, volume of rectangular field minus volume of this uh, well so obtained volume of well so obtained. So, obtained in the sense on the top I am talking about the top till what height uh, you know you will have to leave that particular place. So, we can understand one thing that you are forming one more cylinder over there the empty cylinder because inside that is a well, but outside also we cannot we cannot fill that place right. So, I can understand this one whatever the height that is rising level the same height will be over there also for the empty for the empty from the base level from the empty cylinder. So, that I would say that anyway this is a cylinder so that I can find the volume of the cylinder by using base area multiplied by height. So, I am going to use that volume of the well what is volume of the well volume of the well is equal to with the help of these measurements I can find volume of the well of course, that is in the shape of a cylinder. So, it is going to be uh, I am directly writing in one go volume of the well is pi r 1 square h 1 which is equal to volume of the rectangular field length is equal to 20 width is equal to 14. Uh, so, that I would say that length into breadth into height. So, it would be length into breadth into height of course, I do not know what is the height that is what the height that I am going to use capital H minus volume of the well so obtained volume of the well is equal to base area base area is equal to pi r square. So, that pi r square I am using small r 1 pi r square into h remains same for both of them if you observe h remains same for both of them. So, now I am going to simplify this when I am trying to simplify this I would substitute the proper values the value of pi is equal to 22 by 7. So, it is 22 by 7 times r 1 radius is equal to 7 divided by 2. So, here 7 divided by 2 multiplied by 7 divided by 2 and the height is going to be 10 meters. So, into 10 which is equal to 
L1 is going to be 20, let it be some L1 and B1, okay. It is 20 into B1 is equal to 14. I do not know what is the height minus again pi is equal to 22 by 7 and radius of course whatever the radius the same radius that is 7 by 2 so 7 by 2 multiplied by 7 by 2 into h is going to be the h same h only here also but once you observe i can take one h common here so when i take one h common then how can i utilize that h there so in order to take that h common suppose when i take that remaining terms here 20 into 14, 14 twos are 28, so 280 minus here 1 7 and 1 7 cancel, 2 1s to 11s are 22, so 11 7s are 77 divided by 2 multiplied by h, if I am not wrong. So in order to find the value of h, simplify this, 28 twos are 56 minus 77 divided by 2 into h is equal to whatever the values here i would say 7 7 cancel 2 1s to 11s are 22 um, again uh, 2 1s and 2 5s are 10 finally 11 5s are 55 into 7 so this is 55 multiplied by 7 therefore the value of capital h is going to be capital h is going to be 55 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 2 whole divided by what is the value of this 560 minus 77 that is what I am going to simplify now. So 560 minus 77. So in order to simplify this see the numerator is 55 into 7 are 14 divided by 560 minus 77 10 minus 7 is equal to 3 and then this is uh, 5 so 15 minus 7 is equal to 8 okay and then this is 4 so 55 multiplied by 14 divided by 483 then the value is going to be so i can simplify this if i am not wrong so it would be 55 multiplied by 14 is equal to 770 divided by 483 divided by 483 which is equal to 1.594 which is equal to 1.6 meters approximately so this is what is the height of the uh, you know raising level of the find the raising level of the field is 1.6 meters approximately so this way we can answer the problem right it's interesting of course and moving on to the next problem here the next problem is a bucket open at the top is in the form of a frustum of a cone with a capacity of 1208.8 centimeters square sorry it is a cube because it is a capacity the radii of the top and bottom of the circular ends of the bucket are 20 and 12 here be very careful what is the top as well as what is the bottom the radii of the top and bottom so top is going to be 20 and bottom is going to be 12 so with the help of that information i am going to draw one frustum of a cone so this is what is the bucket in this the top and bottom of the bucket are top radius is going to be either their radii otherwise the diameter the radii so be very careful with that the top radius is going to be 20 centimeters and the bottom radius is going to be 12 centimeters so top radius is 20 and bottom radius is equal to 12 centimeters and find the height of the bucket and also find the area of the metal sheet used in making this but observe the problem carefully bucket opened at the top opened at the top is nothing but this part is opened this part is closed and this is what is the height of the bucket we do not know what is the height of the bucket let it be h and uh, this is 20 centimeters and uh, base radius is equal to 12 centimeters i am going to write the information given given that given that volume of the frustum because it is in the form of a frustum so volume of frustum is going to be 
centimeter cube that is what is the volume of the frustum of course that is what called capacity it means volume of the frustum and uh, both the radii are given capital R is given 20 centimeters and uh, small r is given 12 centimeters but we do not know what is the height of the frustum of the cone of course the bucket. So, will you be able to find what is h by using the, all these informations of course since volume of the bucket or volume of the frustum is equal to 1 third pi h into capital R square plus small r square plus capital R into small r. But in order to find the value of h, you must use the value of pi is equal to 3.14. Be very careful. But what is the volume of v, uh, v here? 12308. 12308.8 is equal to 1 divided by 3 into pi is 3.14 as it is given into h we do not know into capital R square capital R is equal to 20 20 square is equal to 400 plus small r square 12 square equal to 144 plus capital R into small r 20 into 12 12 twos are 24 so 240 got it and now you are going to remove the decimal first of all okay so in order to remove the decimal this is 12308.8 i am writing it as 12308.8 divided by 10 is equal to 1 by 3 into 3.14 can be written as 314 divided by 100 into h into how much is this if you observe clearly 400 plus 100 equal to 500 plus 200 equal to 700 40 plus 40 equal to 780 plus 4 equal to 784 right so now here 10 and 10 can be cancelled and uh, 784 so 7 plus uh, 4 equal to 11 11 plus 8 is equal to 19 of course cannot be cancelled by 3 so that is why what are we going to do here we are going to transpose everything towards left hand side and once again so this is 4 and 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 2 plus 1 equal to 3 plus 1 to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 therefore i am going to find what is the height of the what is the height of this so the height is going to be so i am transposing everything here 1 2 3 0 8 8 and when I am transposing everything here, then 3 would be here. So, into 3 divided by into 3 and 10 is also there into 10 divided by this is 314 multiplied by 784. So, when I use the calculator in order to find the value of this, then what do I get here? 1, 2, 3, 0, 8, 8 multiplied by 3 tens are 30 divided by 314 is equal to 11760 again divided by 784 784 then i get 15 yes i got exact answer here that is 15 centimeters is what is the height of the bucket so after getting the height of the bucket is equal to 15 centimeters what am i supposed to find more so, I need to find the height of the bucket, also find the area of the metal sheet used to make this. So, in order to find what is the area of the metal sheet used to make this, first of all, I would see here, is there any part which is not closed? Here, the top portion of the bucket is not closed, It is it means it is empty. Since it is empty, I need to find how much sheet is required for making the curved surface as well as only the bottom base. So that area of the metal sheet required is curved surface area of the frustum plus this radius that is nothing but pi small r square. Got it? So curved surface area is equal to pi L into capital R plus small r plus pi small r square is equal to 12 square. But see what is the value of L here? I am going to find the value of L. L of means the 
slant height of the frustum of cone is L square is equal to H square plus capital R minus small r whole square. H square plus capital R minus small r whole square. So, that L square equal to H square just now we got H is equal to 15. So, 15 square equal to 225 plus capital R minus small r 20 minus 12 is equal to 8. 8 square equal to 64. So, 225 plus 64 is equal to 289. 289 is the square of 17. So, that L is equal to 17. Right? And now you can substitute here. Pi is equal to of course 3.14. So, 3.14 multiplied by L. L is equal to 7 into capital R plus small r 20 plus 12 is equal to 32 plus pi is again 3.14 multiplied by 12 square is equal to 144. So, again I am going to use the calculator in order to find the value of this. So, that is 3.14 multiplied by 17 multiplied by 32 is equal to how much is this value 1708.16 plus 3.14 multiplied by 144 3.14 multiplied by 144 is equal to 452.16. 452.16 when I add both of them then what I get I get 108.16 then I get totally 2160.32 centimeter square of the metal sheet is required in order to make this cylindrical bucket opened at the top. So, these are uh, various problems given in <coughs> board examination and I hope you enjoyed doing all these problems because in this whole concept what is particularly how to be remembered and here in this particular chapter you need to remember what is the formula and uh, how effectively you can analyze the problem and coming to the calculation part, please try to do the calculation only towards the end. Please do not go for individual calculations because this topic is completely related or completely basing on combined solids. So, that calculation would be easier if you go for the calculations towards the end of the topic. Hope you understand and enjoy the class. Thank you.